and welcome to Tuesday One Show, live on BBC One and iPlay with Alex Jones. And Jermaine Genus. Now, on tonight's show, we visited County Durham, Bradford and Wrexham. And tonight, we shine a spotlight on Southampton, the final stop on our journey in the search for the City of Culture 2025. Doing but first, uh, Ricky here isn't the only one who's been touring the UK. Our very own Michelle Ackley has hit the road to visit the finalists for this year's City of Culture. And tonight, she's heading south. The One Show is exclusively following the judges as they visit the shortlisted areas battling to be awarded the title of Britain's next city of culture. Our final stop is Southampton in Hampshire. Known as the gateway to the world, it's a maritime city that's been a port since the days of William the Conqueror. Southampton is definitely a really pretty green city. Southampton is such a culturally diverse place to be. Whilst people know it, they don't know what happens in Southampton, what's in Southampton. Southampton is a young and vibrant city based on the culture of its past, and the judges will want to find out what it's got to offer. And the city has laid on a massive welcome for head judge Phil Redmond and his team as they arrive at its famous docks. Phil, well, here we are. We're on the final leg of the tour. What are you hoping to see from Southampton? What we see here is kind of what everybody thinks about Southampton, which is like it's just a port city, you know, but it's got a, a big cultural offer. God's House Tower is one of the city's most important historic monuments. It was once a gatehouse into the old town of Southampton and is now an arts and heritage venue. How does Southampton's maritime history feed into the culture here? It's in our blood, we've grown up with that. It's got this deep, deep heritage, but it's also a very modern city, so the architecture speaks to that. A key focus of Southampton's bid is its multicultural heritage. MasterChef winner and Southampton resident Shalina Permalu is cooking the judges a special lunch. Well, I'm doing a taste of Southampton on a plate, nod to our maritime history and our English heritage. I'm actually chair for Southampton City of Culture, so I didn't realise the job description was that I needed to get really sweaty in a kitchen. And how's it been having the young students involved in this whole process? 2025, we'll see these kids looking at work and opportunities and that's what we're doing it for. And just as the judges are about to tuck in, they're treated to a message from a special Southampton resident. I was born and brought up here. I actually wrote my first hit song in my bedroom at home in the city. Whenever the coast was clear and she'd ask me to come out, I'd say... And I hope you will see for yourselves what I believe is a great city of culture waiting to be recognised. Modern day Southampton prides itself on its vibrant music circuit. Southampton's an amazing music scene. There's loads of venues here. And one venue that's seen itself become an unlikely hotspot is the Saints Pub, which today features local star Shannon B. You've got Shannon performing today, an amazing singer. How did that all start? During the lockdown period, we started putting performers that had performed in the pub whilst we were open on the rooftop. The customers here, they are fiercely loyal to the venue, but that's because they get a lot back from it. Southampton boasts 85 galleries and museums. One of its most cherished is the City Art Gallery. Claire, just talk me through the significance of the art here in the gallery to Southampton. We've got one of the best collections of 20th century British art. We've also got our maritime history. We've got our history of inventing things, of innovating, and we want all that to come together in our programme. How would you define the culture here in Southampton, Claire? We've got a real broad range of different communities, stories of migration, those hidden stories. We have a lot more deprivation here than perhaps uh, you would expect for a city in the south. But we also know that we have a lot more to offer in terms of tourism. Well, Phil, your yeah. reflections on your time in Southampton? It's been great. The amount of enthusiasm, creativity, you know, sort of desire for culture within the entire population. You know, it really is still a great untapped resource. With not only a focus on history, but also young people and diversity at the heart of their bid, Southampton rose to the challenge today, and the judges have certainly got their work cut out for them. That's for sure. Well, good luck to Southampton and the winner of the next City of Culture will be announced right here on The One Show next week. Will indeed.